at this. Have you a moment? Faint hearted night. What is it then? <clears throat> it's about this. I challenge you to a duel. Oh, he doesn't sound so what? sure about that. He doesn't sound like he wants you to heard. challenge you. Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening is I'm challenging you to a duel, you disgusting man. He's well armored. I spit in your face. Eager, aren't you? Who are you, anyway? I am Sir Olbram of Lossen. Pleased to meet you, Sir Olbram. So, what are you after? My mother sent me out to get some experience. <laughs> She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. In short, she sent me off looking for some virgin to save and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. Poor guy. Well, I really could just like... Look, dueling's all fine and dandy. But shouldn't you start with looking for that virgin? There's lots of pretty maids around these parts. One or two might still be virgins. Hmm. Might. Unless Henry got Henry to him first, did. that dog. Once you've done that, you might see this dueling differently. True. If I'm fighting for the love of my life, my courage will know no bounds. Ah, uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but so be it. Thank you for your encouraging words. Glad to be of service, sir. Never mind. Oh, wait. I'm quite... What the? God. God, why did I have to be born a noble? Maybe I should have killed him. His armor's pretty sick. Who knows? Maybe it'll pay off in the end. Do you need... Never know. Till then... Onward. Another armed man, is it still him? Oh, it's a different feller. Well, hello, good sir. Hey, lad, come here. Oh, he's a mercenary. Ah, nothing's the matter. I'd just like to pass the time of day with a fellow wayfarer. I see. What do you have in mind? We could have a little bout of combat for the sake of practice. Man, people just chilling on the side of the road. Who are you, anyway? And what do you do? What do you think? Would you take me for a knight? No, although you are armed like one. True. So a bandit, then? No. Not now, anyway. I'm waiting here for a merchant who hired me for protection. So, shall we fight them? Sure. All right. Gotta, gotta rust, gotta shake the old Excellent. rust off. I trust you have something to wager. Oh, yeah, I sure. Watch this guy just kick my ass. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Not bad, not bad. Over here. Are you?
Oh, T posing. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh well. Here you are. Well, thanks for the money. He must uh he must have saw me pull my book out mid combat and start looking at my combo moves because he's like, oh man, nah. Nah, this guy's got it. This guy's him. Then he has us meet with his cronies, but then the guards show up. And uh they're not very they're not very chill like that, so I'll have to choose between these poacher guys or the guards. I think this time I'm going to choose to side with the poachers because the I said whenever a job for someone, I started this, I was going to be devious. I was going to be a mischievous little guy. And I'm letting my own like my own feelings about the thing get in the way. Honest. And Henry's got that dog in him and we should act like that. I have a score to... <laughs> anyway, I'm listening begin with bring me some deer easy but i'm thinking maybe hunting might be a good way to get some money hey get out of here it's no place for the likes of you oh is it i remember you get out of here Mr. Poacher Boy. Yeah. Because the armor weighs so much, but the armor's pretty critical. Oh. Got him. Yeah, that's probably a thousand gold worth of meat. I was beginning to worry you. No need. Well, well. So give me the first time. Well, there was only. I said Nickel. Now he wants us to get the horn. Wait, nothing to bright. Sometimes best to go. Come back to right. Glad to hear it. This is, is he doesn't know yeah. that I'm currently employed by the Huntsman. God be with you. I need your hunting. What? I have the poachers hooked. But that horn's valuable. Don't worry. Give it. All right. If I am, here you go. Good luck, then. Now we just go on back. I hope he doesn't find it suspicious that I was able to literally go and grab the horn. I don't think he will. Hey! I have that horn for you. Ah! Last time you told... Let's put it this way. Oh. Why does he have it in for him? There's more than one reason. But the heart of it is, Nicholas lied under oath and almost got him hanged. That's a fair enough reason. You're telling me. What's he trying to... Do you want to know? Ask around the village what they think of the master huntsman. The old man is making a bigger and... Soon enough, the gossip will reach the ears of Sir Divish himself. So, we just get... All right? One of the things I did not do the last time was ask around. I think I have a room here. Honored that not. Have you got a certainly? For how long? How about sure? Here you go. You like it? What do you think about all the poaching lately? And what should I be thinking? If they ever catch them, the Divish will have them skinned alive. But for that to happen, our master huntsman would have to be made of sterner stuff. Sterner stuff. Do you think Nicholas isn't doing enough? A master huntsman who lets poachers run wild through his woods? He's useless. He couldn't even stop them hanging a stag's head on his own house. Right. 
Thank you, Ink. God Almighty, has something... I'd like to find out about... I don't know anything about that. But if it's gossip you're after, go and... Go speak to Brada. God be with you. I heard you have poacher trouble. Certainly do. They're running wild around here. And they kill a lot more than they take. Many a time I've seen a carcass just thrown in a ditch. It's no good. Why would someone just toss their cats in the woods? It doesn't make sense. Well, the wagging tongues say they're just doing it to spite the huntsman. Why would anyone want to take revenge on the huntsman? He's not the best liked man in the village. We all know that. And then there are those who say Hannikin Hare is back. Jesus! Who's Hannikin Hare? You're not from around here, are you? The Hare's quite the Talmberg legend. He used to be hmm. Master Huntsman here once, but then he ran off. Why did he run? Well, it just so happens I know the answer to that. Some big important nobleman came to Talmberg around then, and they made a grand occasion of it. And in the midst of it all, Hare had a falling out with some man-at-arms and knocked him in the moat. The poor bugger broke his neck. They picked the Hare up, but before they could take him before the court, he vanished. Why take revenge on Master Huntsman Nicholas? Because of Nicholas's wife, Margaret. Ooh. Hare had his eye on her back then, but she didn't care for him and he was fuming. Well, and after he disappeared, Nicholas got his post. Where did he run to? Jeez. No one really knows. They say he's hiding in secret tunnels beneath the castle. But that's all fairy tales. It's been years. Oh, he thinks he's dead. I want to ask about... I happen to know, uh... Thanks. Goodbye. I happen to know that he's very much alive. Because he was... Because we can see into the future. And we know at this next meetup, he is, uh... He's leading the poachers. Let's go have a talk with Margaret. That's what Margaret's got to say. Oh, come on. Margaret, how are you doing, you fair lass? Good afternoon. I'd like to ask you about Hannikin Hare. I'm sorry, oh. but I really don't want to talk about that. The thing is, every time I spoke to someone about Hare, they always ended up talking about you. But I don't. You aren't to blame for anything, is that it? Well, I am willing to believe you, but you do know more than you're telling. And I need to hear it. Very well. You're right. And what would you like to know about Hare? Lion. Did Hare really commit the murder? God in heaven, how should I know? Anyway, it doesn't matter now. That remains to be seen. How were things between you and Hare back then? There was nothing between us. Hannikin Hare impressed my father with all his talk of noble blood. But I couldn't stand him. And I didn't want to marry him. And then it made no odds after he ran away. So you hmm. didn't want him? I only ask because I've heard differently. That's village talk. Of course folk gossip. Mostly they just want to hurt Nicholas. Hmm. That'll be everything. I'd like to find out about the... If you ask me... There's some questions best left unanswered. Best left unanswered. But go and see Elena if you're determined. Elena? God bless. The plot thickens, boys. I heard Elena spills all the tea. Good health to you. I heard there are... If only if it was just poachers. It's that sorcerer hair. 
He's the one who's been running amok. I called him a sorcerer. And I said he'd be vengeful. And I was right both times. Oh, she knows. She told him. And when she tell him exactly when she did. Has anyone actually seen this hammock in here? He seems to exist only as a bogeyman to frighten naughty children. Oh, he exists all right. But he flits around in the forest like a shadow. They won't be catching him anytime soon. But Blacksmith's Betty heard some of their goings-on in the woods. Goings-on? What's that supposed to mean? Cavorting and raising hell. Cavorting. Sorcery. Hare meets up with his sorcerer's <laughs> apprentices, and they feast in the clearing in the woods. In the morning, they turn, turn into ravens into and ravens scatter. And scatter. Oh or so she says. But you'll have to ask Betty for more. All right, Miss Betty. Knows what she saw? Or... What she was doing there with them. Very well. That I'll Betty. Have. Thanks. All right. I think I know all I need. Goodbye. You are there, actually. I meant to. I want to ask one more. So ask. Who does Hare want revenge on? Master Huntsman Nicholas, of course. When the Hare disappeared, Nicholas took his Margaret and the Huntsman's posting. So Nicholas came out of it well. That one always knew how to land on his feet. All right. Thanks. God be with you. All right. Later, boys and girls. Gotta go talk to Blacksmith Betty. God save. How may I help you, good knight? I've got a few questions. So ask. I heard you saw something fishy in the forest. That's something right. fishy? I did. Can you describe what you saw? It was after dark. I remember that. I went up past the castle along by the clearing and I saw someone had lit a fire and there were figures singing and dancing and I could hear the whistling of a pipe. And mm. I could smell roast meat. It was like a feast of some sort. Only I thought maybe it was some witch's sabbat, so I was afraid to stay too long in case they saw me. Where is the clearing? A short walk north of the castle. There's a track past the woodcutter's camp that takes you there. Thanks. Did you recognize anyone there? Someone from the village, maybe? So I like this. No, this started out as a little like side quest. It's becoming quite a, uh, quite a All tale. All I see was shadowy figures moving around. Did you hear any familiar voices? No, no. But I heard girls' laughter. Goblets clinking, a piper playing. It sounded just like any feast. What do you make of this poaching that's been going on? It's clear as day. Hannikin hair's back. And putting those antlers on Nicholas's house... Well, we all know what that means, don't we? It's the sign of a cuckold, you mark my words. Huh? So what's the story between Hare and Margaret? It was complicated. He wanted her and she wanted him too, I reckon. At least for a while. But then she hitched up with Nicholas and now she says she never had a thought of wedding Hannock and Hare. You mean to say his wife's cheating on him? All I'm saying is she might be feeling the urge. It happens in the best of families. Well, you're the first who's certain of Harry's return. So far, I've just heard vague rumors. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm completely sure. I suppose some other mischief maker could have done it. But better the devil you know. And everyone hereabouts knows Hare. You were singing a different song not long ago. So? Why do you want to know so much, anyway? It's nothing to you, but I'm helping Nicholas unmask that local poaching gang. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now you know. And you also know not to keep anything from me. So, what's the story? We might actually learn something here. All right, I'll tell you what I know. But promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. I'll do what I can, but I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. They say it's all because of her. Keep going. Surprise, surprise. I know full well Hare's here, because Margaret admitted as much. 
What did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she came by and they exchanged some words. Words was all she told me. Who knows what they actually got up to. And what did they speak about? I don't know. But if Nicholas knew they'd met, he'd most likely kill her. You're sure she wasn't saying it in jest? Oh, no. Margaret wouldn't joke about something like that. So what went on? Between we gotta know what's going on. on. Those two? There was no love lost between them from the moment Hare arrived. And then Margaret got involved. It was a messy business. Do you think Hare really killed that man? Who knows the truth of it now? I did find it all a bit odd. Hare never was much of a hothead. But then again, no one really knew him that well. Mm. And Margaret never wanted to speak of it. Wouldn't hear a word about it. Well, you're the first. Well, now. Stop trying to... Um. But you know who Radzig Cobb... Of course. I'm his right-hand man. All right, I'll tell you what I... I'll do what I... It's to do with Margaret. Keep going. I know full well huh. hairs here. Because Margaret... Oh, we already know all this. In the... And what did they... I don't know. You're sure she... Oh, no. Okay. Right. God be with you. What can I do for you? I'd like to ask you about Hannikin Hare. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. Listen, I know the Hare is here, and I know you spoke with him. And if you don't want your husband to find out, you better start talking. Wait! You can't say something like that to Nicholas. God knows what he'd do. Lying? In your hands, whether Just I Just lying? All right, all right. What do you want to know? What did you talk about in the woods with Hannikin Hare? I see Betty's mouth's been busy. Don't blame her. I had to work hard to weasel it out of her. Now tell me. Oh, all right. Well... It seems Hannikin Hare's exile has addled his brain. He told me he'd go off with me, that he still loves me and nonsense like that. And what about you? What do you mean? I was so shocked, I couldn't even scream. Is that all I he told you? I don't believe you. He said if I change my mind, I'm to hang a garland of forget-me-nots on the house and wait for him at that place of ours. Hmm. Where was it you saw him exactly? I wish I could tell you. The whole thing was like a fever dream. I almost got lost trying to get out of the forest. Even if I remembered, it wouldn't be any use to you. Hannikin Hare moves through the forest like a ghost. He knows every tree root off my heart. That'll be everything. 